Hello, I've been trying to make TensorFlow Lite work on an ESP32 for uh, uh, the third time now without much success, but um, I will try again. So, um, I'll create a new folder named, I don't know, temp. It's just a walkthrough, like actually most of my videos. And I should go back to this. Oh, and I'm following the tutorial of, I don't know if I have it open here, Atomic 14, I think. Yes, Atomic 14. And using his GitHub repo. So um, thanks to him. Git clone. Okay, now let's um, let's try to open the folder. Yes, open the folder. No, these are the projects. Uh, the last time I tried. Desktop, firmware, this one, okay. Do you want to save your workspace? Save. Yeah, okay. No. Uh, third test. Okay, it seems like um, it loaded the files uh, correctly. Let's see if we can just compile. failed okay no no tensorflow light okay that that was expected now let's try to get this so what we did here here we have we have mainly two steps the first one is to get the neural network and for this we train it uh, on the computer so this is it's this part uh, which I will not go through uh, today. And then the other part is to get the TensorFlow Lite library on the ESP32, uh, which I'm trying to make work now. So um, if we go, I think here, and if we go here, there is this instruction to extract tensorflow micro um, we need to clone this as well let's just go back here and get clone this and then we need to go into it um, follow this few steps so there are a few on I've tried to minimize by remake by making you okay uh, you can specify argument so for example use okay ESP let's do this one let's take this one I think I need to go sudo otherwise it doesn't work Hmm. I think it's because I've already done it and it already has um, everything it needs. Um, I c 
can copy great then this is where it, it doesn't get that tricky but this will copy the tf micro source code for into the lib okay this one so we need to copy the copy the camp content tf micro we need to copy it to the project oh here then copy the library into tf micro okay no library dot json into tf micro here Let's let first try with this. Still not working. Okay, no such file or directory. Let's I need to change line 34. TensorFlow, third party, third party flat buffers, include flat buffers base.h. So, what does 32 onwards do, do they mean that i need to delete everything f starting from 32 because th that's a lot So, um, I think it's this one where they explain it. What's the name? A base. Base dot. There, there is no base dot h. Maybe it's not this one. Uh, okay. Okay. Use docker. This is what we did. Verify. Copy the TF micro under the lib for folder. Oh. Interesting. It doesn't talk about. It. I will stop the video now and get you back as soon as I have some progress to show. Oh, I found the article I was uh, looking for. So with 
the file structure finished navigate so we don't have i guess we don't have to do this file structure uh, um, steps because we have the uh, json file that we copied earlier uh, navigate and open base within change line from okay let's do this where is it 34 here from if def so i will just comment this to include space utility did I write this utility yes let's save I, I, I don't have much hope but This is good for now. It worked. That's crazy. It really did. Man. Let's upload this. Oh. oh, okay, no worries. We can fix this one. So this is because, where is it? Here, I think. I should just comment this and this tool. It will figure this out uh, by itself. Uh, I think it needs to recompile before because I changed the init file. I could have changed the framework or something. Finger crossed. Yes, connect in. Now I need to click on the button boot, upload in. And then how do I monitor again? This one, I think. Up. Expected. Yes, 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 yes. It's working. Great. So <laughs> I still need to go through the, the other step because the, there is a bit of work to do. Uh, so this is the neural network from what i've seen this is not the hardest part um what might be a bit tricky it just needs a bit of work it's not that hard but um we need to add all of the functions let's just try something resolver all of the functions that are used by um your neural network uh need to be here so for example addition or multiplication fully connected voila so this is working uh, it's a neural network that uh, compares two numbers and if one of them is bigger than the other it says true otherwise it says false so it doesn't use any sensor input or anything or anything but it's working on an esp32 which means you can easily connect a sensor to it or use whatever resources we have on esp32s and add a tensorflow light to it which is very nice i hope this helped 
um, I went through the whole process I think I captured everything and yes uh, I will maybe I will check the license and I will upload this to github um, for my use but you can use it of course uh, this way you don't have to regenerate the tensorflow light project yes that means that the files will not always be um, up to date but uh, at least they will be working for this. Voila. Bye bye.